Good morning, this is your friend Angel over at Pam Chevrolet and today is Thursday, October 27th and it's a very special day for my customer Mike and Lisa. Their beautiful build they arrived yesterday to the dealership. Uh, we built this car together a few months ago. We ordered it in August 15th and today it's here, uh, ready to go. They're gonna, they're gonna send a driver to come pick it up pretty soon. It's going down South Florida. Uh, so guys, here it is. Uh, just like you asked me to, here is the car that you wanted with the Silver Flare Coral. This is the 2023 Corvette Convertible 2LT uh, with the Spectra wheels, which match perfectly with this color, guys. It's amazing spec. I love it. Uh, so I'm going to walk you around to show you what you're getting today, probably this afternoon. Uh, and hopefully you enjoy it for many years to come. It's definitely a piece of history. This year we're celebrating 70 years of building the Corvette and see so all Corvettes that you buy in 23 will have a special plaque commemorating the 70th anniversary and this is my first Silver Flare uh, Corvette that I ever ordered or sold. Uh, this is the second one in the dealership in the last two years when this color came out I think it came out in 21 uh, or 22 so it's a fairly new color it replaced the blade silver uh, which was available on the seventh generation. Uh, as you might notice, this is a 2LT without the C51 package, so it doesn't have the, the wing. Uh, it doesn't have the high wing, but you can put one in later if you want, and also you can put the, the little small spoiler if you like to. But you can see the lines perfectly without the spoiler. That's what I like about it. Look how big the, the, the rear looks. Uh, one thing about it, uh, you can order this. This is called the nasals. In black in carbon flash actually so it's the same color of many components around the car uh, carbon flash is present everywhere for example you can see carbon flash on the emblems right here you can see carbon flash on the exhaust excuse me the ex these are uh, heat extractors and then the diffuser on the back is painted in carbon flash you also have carbon flash right here on the scoop on the doors you have carbon flash here, this is the option that they selected. You can up for the whole roof painted in carbon flash. Uh, you also have carbon flash on the mirrors. And then when you go to the front bumper, you got carbon flash in the grill, on the bottom of the grill, and also on the radiators. So everything flows in here. It also has a nice interior that match perfectly with this car, with the sky cool gray. So I'm gonna walk you around this beauty and show you what it's all about. What's the hype? <laughs> and one thing you notice, Mike, and this is one of those things that if somebody doesn't tell you, you never notice. This mirror is two inches longer than that mirror. It's something they do for mid-engine cars. They have to have mirrors that are longer or move forward so you can see the rear end of the car better. Yeah, so that's one of those things that you never pay attention to, but yeah, it's there. The Spectra wheels, oh my God, these are perfect for this car. It's like. They were born <laughs> to be in this in this color, uh, and I love the two tone. You can notice the Corvettes. Obviously, they had 20 inch wheels in the back, 19s on the front. They're smaller, uh, but one thing you notice: uh, they said Corvette right here on the wheel, and also in the caliper inside of there. Also, you will see there is another caliper, and that's for your parking brake. So the rear wheel had two calipers, but the front ones had only one. It's, it's one of those things that curiosity, right? <laughs> So let me show you how this baby sound. The first thing we're gonna do is show you this key. This is the black key. You can see the emblems is painted in black and it also have a black emblem. The other key will be have a chrome emblem and a transparent emblem right here on this part. What we're gonna do here, Mike, you ready? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start it. So I, I'm gonna give you a second and crack the volume on your, on your speakers. Ready, set, go. Here it come. Holy moly! <laughs> the Kraken is awake! <laughs> oh my god, it sounds so good. What I love about it is that it looks like an exotic car, but then it sounds like a muscle car. It's something we never experienced before. I heard somebody put an LS engine in a Lambo. I'm assuming this is what they were trying to accomplish, right? An exotic, exotic looking car, but with the heart and soul of an American Chevy engine. Look at that shot right there. My God, that's a money shot, Mike. Look at it. <laughs> Screenshot it. <laughs> nice, nice. Now that the sun came out, 
you can really see what this color is about. It has like a yellow tint to it. And when you walk around, it kind of looks gold sometimes. Sometimes it kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a, maybe like a copper color. I don't know how to describe it. If you see it in person, you'll see what I mean. It, it's amazing. The camera looks amazing. It looks even more amazing in person. As I walk around the car, look at that thing, man. Whoa. Mike, you in for a treat. Lisa, you're gonna love this. All right, let me go around here and keep showing you guys. Uh, one of the things I love about the Corvette, even though it's, this is a hard top convertible, you cannot see the engine, you still have a fairly decent cargo space to open it. We're gonna hit the button under the E because it looks like an eight. And you can see here on the inside, look how big the trunk is. It's big enough to two golf bags. In fact, if this was a coupe, we can take the roof off and fit them in here perfectly. Uh, so you don't lose much cargo space on the, uh, from the coupe to the convertible. When you close this, you don't have to slam it anymore. You just show it to it like this and let it do its thing. See, it closed by itself. Now, the other trunk is on the front. We call that one the trunk because it's a trunk in the front. <laughs> ah, funny, guys. Uh, so this one you can open it from the key fob there is a button on the door too my favorite feature is under the driver's side headlight there's a small button right here i don't know if you can see it it's hard to see but it's a road, little rubber piece when you push that it's gonna do this it's gonna open twice let me show you why is that man that color pops real so you can see here how deep this is and we explain you how to escape from the mafia see run for your life in that direction if somebody puts you here uh, this is a release that glows in the dark zone. You push it, it will let you out. <laughs> this is a 12 volt outlet. You have pockets on this uh, cargo net, so you can put your groceries, some stuff over here for the car. Here's your windshield washer fluid, brake fluid. The battery is under this cover. To remove it, you have to remove these plastic things here. You just pull them up, and this side too, and then uh, you can get access to your 12 volt battery. So this is the first time in decades the battery on the Corvette is back in the front. So when you close this, you gotta make sure you close it twice. See, you can close it halfway in case you need to plug in your trigger charger. It doesn't drain the battery. You don't mess up your pen job. But make sure you push it again and it's completely sealed. And you can see the cutout. Man, the lines on this car. Everything meets right here in the middle. It's absolutely perfect. Every gap that you see on the Corvette is it's a, a three millimeters or less. So it's very tight, very quiet when you want to. Uh, right now it's setting up in touring mode. And you can see how quiet it is after that cold start we just did. Uh, so let's see what's inside. This is the best part of the car. <laughs> All right, let's go there. So under here is your door handle. We got a little button there. Very important, if you lose, your, I mean, if your battery down in your key fob, up there there's a, a place for your key. You just have to find it it's up there. Very hard to see, but that's how you open this car if the battery dies. Now look at your driver's door, Mike. It has all these carbon fiber inserts. I never see a 2LT with carbon fiber. It looks amazing because this leather yeah, give it a good contrast with the carbon fiber. And of course, following my advice, he got the GT2 seats to match with that. Look at that, man. It has carbon fiber inserts in the seats. Both seats have it, of course. As I mentioned before, this is not a 70th anniversary edition, but all Corvettes in 23 will have this plaque celebrating the 70 years of production of Corvette. Amazing accomplishment. It's probably the oldest sports car out there, other than Porsche or Porsche. All right, so when you close the door, the party starts. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> Love this part. Especially because the silhouette. It's a car with all the spoilers, so hey, <laughs> you have your car on a, on a picture. That's the car everybody sees when they start your car. So even though we the car is running and we're sitting in it, it's not ready to be driven or anything. See, I cannot move anything. So you physically have to hit the brake pedal, hit the start button. And now everything comes to life, as you can see. I went to put gas yesterday, so now it has four miles. <laughs> when it first got here, it got two. Uh, but man, look at this thing. You had all this French stitching on the steering wheel. It goes around the steering wheel and it's the same color of the gray used in the interior. You can see more carbon fiber on the passenger side. That panel is actually bigger. 
And then if you see in the instrument cluster, you order carbon fiber inside, so it has carbon fiber around the instrument cluster. It looks spectacular. And then you look here down the shifter, see all that? That's all carbon fiber too. It looks really nice. I love the, the, the contrast with the color and the carbon fiber. And of course you had your Corvette emblem chrome, your steering wheel, which is flat on the top, flat on the bottom. <laughs> Uh, but if, as you can see, it helps you look at this perfectly. You also have a heads-up display, which you control from these three buttons. You can move it up and down. See, I, I, it's hard to see right now, but it's there. Let me see if I can change it. It's just the quality of my camera here. Uh, it's not the best for this kind of stuff. This is like super fast. So you can see it blinking on my camera, but in real life, it's not blinking. It looks perfectly fine. It's just, but yeah, you can move it there. And basically, you display the information you have here on the on this on the windshield. Uh, very nice. Now, when you get in your Corvette, very important. You're gonna uh, go to the users. And you're gonna sign in with your OnStar account. Uh, after you call OnStar, because if you do all this and then call OnStar, everything you did will be erased. So it's good to do it first. Call OnStar, pushing the OnStar button, complete your welcome call, set up your PIN. And then you can come here and sign in with your username. Everything will be saved. Now, when I hit navigation, it's going to ask you to get started. So I'm going to hit get started, accept and continue, and continue. Uh, we're going to hit no advisor right now. We're not going to call. But you can see it's asking you to call to complete your welcome call. Uh, this is for the navigation system. We also have uh, XM radio. Welcome to Sirius we get XM. To XM. It's all you'll ever need the to first hear everything time you, you want. Get car, you have to hit listen now. And then the, the radio station will pop up right away. You can you got a model in here. In fact, I believe this car comes with a year of XM radio. Cool thing about it, when you're listening to XM, you can pause the radio and it will record for the next 20 minutes. So if you don't have to miss your favorite song or anything like that, you hit play and it will continue what it was. Uh, if you change stations though, then it, <laughs> it starts recording again. So uh, it's what you're only in XM. You cannot do it in FM band. Uh, you could do it though on Bluetooth audio, which we also have on your phone. Uh, that's another feature we offer. Uh, another important thing, when you go on your Corvette, hit settings, and we're gonna go here to vehicle. You see what it says, buckle to drive? It might be on, I shut it off because it's very annoying. <laughs> uh, what it is, if you get in this car and you don't put your seatbelt, you cannot put them in gear for like 10 seconds. Uh, so it's trying to encourage you to, of course, put your uh, <laughs> seatbelt on. Uh, but very important, go here where it says comfort and convenience, and you're gonna see reverse tilt mirror. And this is an option where you can have both mirrors tilt when you put it in reverse, all the driver's side, all the passenger side, or none of them. Let me show you how that works. I like to use passenger. So if I put this car in reverse right now, this mirror will fold down just a little bit. See it there? So I can see the ground, uh, I can, you know, have two different angles. This one is the ground. And this one, of course, is fixed, so I can see everything in this one. Uh, but if you don't want to, let me hit park again. Now the mirror goes back to its position, like it was, and that's it. But if you don't want it, I'm going to leave it off so you don't get confused. Uh, you come here and change it off. Remote mirrors folding. This is from you lock your car, your mirrors will close. I'm going to leave it on. I don't know if we will save the setting, but very important because this, this is the first Corvette that you can do this. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And you can set it up where every time you lock the car, your mirrors lock. It's the first time we have a Corvette with folding mirrors, very important accomplishment. When you get a 2LT, you get that too. Aside from the navigation and the heads up display, you get many things. Another cool thing here, when you go to settings, uh, it's the uh, valet mode, very important. You go to valet mode and you can put a secret code here. You can choose your code, Mike. It doesn't have to be this ultra secret one that I have. And when you hit lock, listen to this. Now the screen is locked, I cannot access anything. You try, nothing, right? You cannot do anything. Then the speed limit is set up to 85 miles an hour, so you don't, your valet driver doesn't go joyriding too fast. <laughs> 85 miles an hour is manageable for most people, as you said. And now the glove box is locked. I had no way to open the glove box. I had no way to open this. The center console is locked. So to open all this stuff, we put our ultra secret code, don't tell anybody, and voila, you heard that? It clicks, and now everything, the screen is back to life, and I can push the glove box button, and here we go. Here we can open our 
center console. Now, speaking of the center console, here you have a USB-C, USB-A, auxiliary, and an SD card. Do not remove this SD card. That's for the navigation system. It doesn't work with any other card, so you don't have to worry about somebody stealing it. And if they do, they, they just waste their time. It doesn't work. It won't work with any other card but this one. You also have a wireless charge in there. And this is great for sport cars. You know, you get on the track, the thing won't be dancing around. It will be nice and cozy. <laughs> you can see the mirrored speaker on the, on the Corvette. It looks very nice. If you look closely, it has like a silhouette of a Corvette logo there. It's hard to see right now because the sun hit it, but I don't know if you can appreciate it there. But it's kind of floating. It's kind of ghost. <laughs> Uh, speaking about speakers, uh, you can see there's a uh, Bose Performance Series speakers. This is the first car in the history of humanity to be a two-door car, two-person car with 14 speakers. Now, if you get a 1LT, you get 10 speakers, which is the maximum we used to offer for the seventh generation. But the 2LT comes with a Performance Series, and it's <laughs> it's great. It sounds amazing. Uh, so currently, we are in touring mode. We also have a Z mode on the steering wheel. If we hit the Z, you hear that everything changed now to like a sport mode. But the cool thing about Z mode is how you can edit it. You can choose how you want the car to sound. You can choose how you want the steering wheel to feel. See, if I want to get this car quiet, let me show you what I mean by this. Right now it's, it's loud, right? All right, so I can put this button here. Just by pressing that, now I'm in stealth mode. See, and this is confirmed to engine sound. You hear it okay? And now it's quiet. Hey, listen to this much quiet right let's go back here put it max out this is the first time we can customize the brake pedal feel and, and the shifting and the steering wheel we could do before but listen to it now <laughs> oh yeah baby it means business so Z, Z mode is customizable. Now, if you unclick Z mode, it goes automatically back to tour mode and very quiet. See, this is, these are the settings for tour mode. Uh, your driving mode selector is right here, though. This is where you, they call this the handrest because you put your hand right here, but it has a little Corvette logo. Too. Pretty cool. So, if you look closely, they say wheel under there. And what you do, you, you move this to the right. Right now, we're in tour mode. And when I move this to the right, I'm going to go to sport mode. And I move it one more time. And I go to track mode. Yes, sir. And this is all maxed out. You can see everything. <laughs> everything is all the way to the top. The steering wheel gets really hard in track mode. Uh, so I don't recommend this for the daily use type of thing. Uh, it doesn't run in four cylinders either when it's in track mode. So the gas mileage dropped quite a bit if you're driving in track mode. Sport mode will run in four cylinders and tour mode will do it even more. So going back to sport mode, you notice that everything changed to that. Go to two remote everything changed to that and then you can see here then you hit one more and you can go to my mode my mode is a mode you create to relax this is not to be racing and stuff it only gives you uh, but three options one of them is the engine sound i guess you can have that but you cannot adjust uh, one of the settings instead of four you only have three and another mode is <laughs> all the way down here this is called the weather mode and this is to give you a little bit more traction in case you're driving on the snow on a slippery surface if it's raining really hard and stuff like that this is where where you get the the, the most traction right uh, so back to sport mode i'm gonna leave it in sport because it's my favorite uh, there we go it looks really cool another thing is you can customize all of this so if you want to change the information you have here all you do is use your controllers here on the right side of the steering wheel the wheel is to move up and down. There is no buttons for up and down. There are only buttons for left and right, which is a little confusing, but let me explain. So if I go here to the right, see performance menu, audio menu, maintenance, and then I go to option. If I go here where it says info type selection, I can press the wheel, and then I'm gonna access this menu here. So now I can change, see, instead of G4, I can change it to like or pressure, time and temperature, and stuff like that so i'm gonna leave it the way it is uh but of course this is how you change it you just select what you want to see and now you can see uh, over here i don't i don't want battery voltage i kind of like ladder g4 that's pretty cool oil pressure is boring oil temperature is boring time and temperature uh, for sport mode i don't know but you decide <laughs> i'm gonna leave it the time and temperature it has that because everybody wants to know what time it is <laughs> And today's weather in Florida is changing quite a bit. 
awesome to see 73 degrees. <laughs> it's been cold lately. Uh, so this is how you customize your cluster. You can do the same with every single driving mode. So for instance, if I go here to track mode, now I can customize all these four things that I see here. This is oil pressure, temperature, uh, I think, well, that's transmission temperature or radiator temperature, one or the other. And then we have the tire pressure down there. If you want to change that, again, right here, you select what you want to see by pressing this button. And then when you find it, just press it again, very simple. Now, if you want to simplify all of this, you can hit simplify, which is at the last option here. And this is pretty cool. Simplify means that it gets very simple. <laughs> Everything disappears, just you and the <laughs> speedometer. And these are RPMs over here, this bar uh, for track mode. Notice that there is a line, a yellow line that starts at 3,500 RPMs. That's gonna be present for the first 500 miles. After that, the yellow line is gonna move to 6,500 RPMs. And that means you're ready to roll. After 500 miles is your braking period and that way scuff the car. So you will have more torque. And of course, that's when you can do your launch control, which I go to that pretty soon. <laughs> now, if I go here and change it to sport mode, regardless of changing the driving modes, I'm still simple, see, it's, it's still simplified. I go to touring mode, look at this. It's still simple, see? Not much information, just gears and speed and RPM, that's it. Now, if I want my life to be more complex, I'm gonna hit the, the right button here, get off simplify, and just simply go to the menus, you know, you can go here to performance menu. This is your zero to 60 performance timer. You got a lap timer. You also have a G-force meter. Uh, then if you move here to the left, this is your uh, driver information setter. You got trip one, trip two. If you scroll down, you can see fuel economy, uh, lap, uh, trip timer. And then you have the current drive cycle. And back here to trip one. Wow, I'm getting 28 miles per gallon, Mike. Look at this. What? Is that 2.8? <laughs> no, it is 2.8. <laughs> I, wish, I wish it was 28. Uh, no, but it gets 28 if you already gently in the gas pedal, though. So just be mindful of that. Now, the cool thing about it, this car has memory seat for two drivers. So Mike and Lisa can have their own choices for driving. And you can select what you want the seat to do when you exit the car. So if you want the seat and the steering wheel to move out of the way, you can come here and set and hold this button for two seconds. The same way you store your memories for the driver, it will memorize the position of the seats, position of the mirror, and position of the steering wheel. Very important, the steering wheel on this car, uh, it's kind of hitting here, but this switch right here, move the steering wheel up and down, but it also telescopes, so you can move it out, and you can move it in. Depending how long your arms are, you can get more comfortable here if you want. So it fits fantastic. It fits everybody, this is like, a car that fits all of us. <laughs> Another cool thing, so we continue, this is the phone icon. You can pair as many as seven devices, but if you move here to the right, you get access to all these apps. And we have also have an app store where you can download up to 20 apps, including Weather Channel and among many others, Pandora, Spotify, you name it. Uh, we started out with three apps, now we have 20, so that's pretty exciting. PDR, very important, and you have a performance data recorder on this thing. And to use it, you're gonna need to Put an SD card, let me show you what that is. It's a 2 t card, it has a slot right here on the glove box, and that's where you put your SD card. It could be up to 256 gigs. It used to be only 32 gigs. And this is amazing because you can use it as a dash cam and you can choose the video overlays. Right now I'm gonna choose sport. I'm gonna show you a preview. That's, it. that's how it will look your footage. As you drive the car down the road, it will show you how many miles you've driven, what time it is. Uh, date, you show your G-Force, RPMs, and of course how fast you're going right here in the corner. And this is the, the layout for Sport. Now, this is called the Sport Preview. We're going to change this to Track. And Track will look like this. Pretty cool. And love Track because he had this information on the steering wheel. Show you how many degrees exactly you're turning the steering wheel. Look at this. As you move the steering wheel, it tells you right there how you're turning your steering wheel. And show you, uh, this is for the RPMs, it's kind of all pressure type of thing, differential, G-force, and of course your RPMs and miles. Uh, so this is pretty cool. And you can use it, like I said, as a, oh, let me change that in case you go into the track. You can use it as a dash cam, but it has preloaded all the tracks around the world. So when you see your footage in a track, you will have the map of the track with you on. Uh, if you want to go to settings, it lets you do audio record, 
you can see automatic recording uh, when it record automatically uh, the audio recording is just the inside of the car you can change the video recording quality for 80 if you want to consume less data uh, etc so and then you can watch your your recordings here of course we don't have any right now but you will have a whole list of them uh, every time you turn on the car drive it around uh, it will turn it on now another cool thing when you put the car in valet mode it activates the camera as well and records what the valet driver is doing so <laughs> among many things <laughs> is spy on your valet parking driver another cool thing about all of these things uh, the shifter there's there's no shifter there's only buttons now or switches so if you're going to put the car in park you're going to push the p button to put in reverse you're going to pull the reverse button and that, of course bringing the backup camera to life if you're going to put it in drive you pull the d button and then if you put it in neutral you're going to press the n and if you put in a manual mode you're going to hit the m and that means you have to shift manually so it becomes basically a stick shift car. I'm gonna hit the P button again, we're in park, and it goes away. Now, if you notice, above the, but next to the shifting and above the driving mode selector, there is your traction control button and front camera. So if I hit this button that says front, ta-da, you will activate my front camera. So this is my front bumper right here. If you want a full view of it, I can delete this thing. Oh, sorry. Let me go here. I think you gotta come here first. Oh, so see, this is the full view of the front. The blue line showing you when you're looking at it. This is the back, excuse me. If I hit it again, sorry. Give me 180 degrees. This is the hitch view for the front. So this is the view I was looking for. See, this is a 90 degree angle. You can see the nose of the car there so you don't scrape it. Now, if you hit this button, it will split it left, right, and top. But this is your left camera, right camera, and then they put it together and it looks like that. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I'm going to put these guidelines because they follow you. When you turn your steering wheel and they they follow you when you backing up too if you don't reverse those lines pop up let me show you let me show you here the the parking lines sorry about that now if i get close to a, an object it also have a rear cross traffic alert so it would alert me to slow down or in this case you might not have it yet because retrofits <laughs> but another cool thing you have here is the uh move forward again the blind spot so this this is the first corvette to have blind spot monitor let me see if i can show you the symbol there it is it's that little symbol oh it's hard to see now because i close it but if you catch it up there it is in the corner that turns yellow when you have a car in your blind spots it's a pretty cool feature uh, another cool thing the camera can be activated on the screen instead of the buttons down here and you can customize all or rearrange all your icons so if you want to put your camera over here on the front page you can move it around if you want all these icons can be rearranged now uh, also moving here to oh sorry i activate alexa <laughs> you can activate your climate settings on the radio screen so you can control your ac from the screen this is fan speed airflow temperature for the driver temperature for the passenger the only thing you cannot control is the seat now speaking of the seats <laughs> all of these buttons that looks so intimidating it's only air conditioning buttons that's it that's all it is <laughs> nothing to be afraid of so this is your driver temperature you can split it here see when i change it it's changed on the screen too uh, driver temperature uh, then you have heated seats for the driver high medium low off then you have cool seats high medium low off this is great when you put the top down then you have the sync button the automatic button airflow uh, you get airflow from the top uh, uh, for the top vents you can do low vents and this is fan speed if you move this up you get more speed if you move this down you get less speed then you have the power button ac button this is for recycling the air <laughs> defrosting for the front window defroster for the rear window heated seats for the passenger cool seats for the passenger and temperature for the passenger which can be changed individually so you guys in the front seat can have different temperatures she's like 68 you can be at 65 I know how ladies are they always get cold <laughs> all right so now i'm gonna show you something even better i'm gonna get out of this car and show you something really cool let me uh, finish here another cool thing i have to show you though before we leave is that oh, sorry you have this uh, android auto and apple carplay but it's wireless you don't longer have to plug in your phone so when you pair your phone to this car uh, it would activate the bluetooth and everything and it will connect your phone to this you would display the image of your phone whatever is an iphone or an android 
uh, you can see Google Maps, Apple Maps, Waze, all of that display on the 8 inch display here. So, so it's compatible with all phones. And of course, you can pair as many as, as seven cell phones. You also have a 4G LTE Wi Fi, uh, which is available right now. Remember, you have to push the unstart button first to get it active, but it's free for the first month and it helps the car getting all these updates for the apps that it has. Uh, here's another cool thing. You have a rear view mirror. Now, if you look at the rear view mirror here, what you can see is pretty much the back window. <laughs> now, if you want to see what's behind the car, all we do is flip it. And voila, now we can see what's behind the car. Now, the camera itself uh, is customizable. So if I hit this button on the corner, I can make it dark or brighter. If I hit the check mark again, I can zoom. Look at this, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. And if I hit the check mark again, I can tilt the camera. So here it is, I'm tilting it, it's in my roof. Normally I would be seeing the spoiler right now, but <laughs> no spoilers, that, that gets better visibility actually without the, the button here. So your choice, you wanna have a mirror, you wanna have a monitor. You wanna see your window, or you wanna see what's behind your car. <laughs> uh, this stays on all the time. It takes time to get used to it, but once you do, you will love it. Then you have these uh, three buttons here. This is your home link for your garage door openers or gates for your neighborhood. Up to three of them can be programmed, very simple. Uh, we also have a motion deactivation sensor. You see what it says, motion sensor off. This is in case you're taking your car to the track in your trailer and you don't want the alarm to be going off all the way there when you disable motion sensors and then your alarm doesn't go on. Uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. I'll, it, it lets you connect up to seven devices, 50 feet around the car. Uh, we were the first company to offer 4G LTE in all our vehicles, including the Corvette, so we're very proud of that. Currently, we have uh, uh, unlimited data plans to start, I think just $20 a month. It's not very expensive. Cruise control, you're gonna turn it on here, you're gonna see a symbol. Oh, where it go? Oh, there's a symbol <laughs> right there. And then you're gonna hit the wheel on set and it will stay at that speed you selected. You can accelerate heating up or reduce the speed going down. Uh, you have two buttons here that says favorite. This is for your radio stations. On the right side, you have volume buttons up and down. Then you have your radio control buttons. Uh, they are voice command and so is the navigation. So, uh, and if you, in case you wonder, this is a heated steering wheel. Uh, then we have, oh, let me show you. Uh, this is to hang up the phone, but it's also the mute button for the radio. So if I'm listening to the radio like this, and I hit this, boop, it mutes the radio, see? And then to unmute it, you hit it again. So the, the button for hang up the phone and ignore the phone call, uh, it's also the mute and unmute button. It has four functions <laughs> in, in one button. But this is pretty cool. You can hit this button here, and then you talk to your secretary. I call her Betsy. Watch. What would you like? Tune to XM Caliente. One moment, please. Okay, tuning to Caliente Sirius XM. There it is, Caliente. <laughs> I'm gonna hit mute the button because of copyright issues. But yeah, this is how you change your radio by voice. And you can do the same instruction to FM or navigation. For instance, if I'm gonna do navigation. What would you like? Find place of interest. Okay, searching for place of interest. See? I'm finding more than one match because it may take you a while to choose. <laughs> Please do so manually from the display. So you can do it this way or you can just do it this way. Let me uh, mute the radio again. <laughs> if you hit the search bar over here, it will show you all the categories. You can just type what you're looking for or just say it. It's very intuitive. Uh, so you got Betsy and if you have an iPhone, you have Siri. If you have an Android, you got Google. So, uh, And you have Amazon Alexa. So a lot of... Uh, <laughs> assistant robots here. Uh, one thing I love about this dashboard with the sky cool is that it goes up this way and then you have this insert that goes around. Look at this dashboard, man. It looks amazing. Look like at a spaceship. She's gonna love this seat. Look at this view. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, so now I'm gonna shut this off and show you more, a couple more surprises for you, my friend, because this is, I can be here all day. <laughs> right now, if you stay this long, congratulations. <laughs> The inform I always leave my uh, what do you call it contact information on the description of the video on the description below the video if you need to order a car or anything you had a question feel free to call me at any time I love to help and I love selling these beautiful cars so right now the car is locked 
if you're gonna check the uh, oil or anything like that, you can do what is called service mode, very important. So you, you lock the car first, and then you're gonna hold this button, and this will happen. See, you would open the trunk, or half of it, <laughs> and then stop. It won't complete the cycle, because it's gonna stay like this, so you can service your car. Uh, normally, we'll be looking at the engine now, but this cover, this uh, cover right here, uh, so from this side, you don't see much, only on the mechanism, but on the other side, let me walk around here, we can see uh, a couple openings. So this opens, and you have access to your engine oil, and this is your radiator, and that's it. So this is where you check the oil, you pour the oil. Uh, if you're going to take the car to the track, though, very important, you have to... But this is not a C51 package. But if it was a C51 package, as you said, uh, it would require an extra two quarts of oil for the transmission. Uh, this is a dual clutch transmission, very advanced. Now, another cool thing, if I want to complete the cycle, right, I'm going to unlock the car first, and then you're going to hold the button, the same button I used to open the trunk, it's going to complete the cycle just like that. Look at that. From the key file. Look at that, it's amazing. <laughs> this is my favorite part of this car. As we're mentioning, you can do this up to, I think, 16 miles an hour, and it only takes about 15, 16 seconds, something like that. Uh, 25 miles an hour, I should say. You can go as fast as 25 miles an hour, and it takes about 16 seconds to put the top down. Look at how beautiful that is. You see the number 70 there? Corvette 1953, 2023. Amazing. So obviously you're looking at it backwards, but that's how it looks from the back. You see how shiny that is? So when you put the top down like that, you know, people can not see you. It's like they only see the two scoops from the back and it looks like if you're riding in a in a fighter jet or something. It's amazing. Ah, I'm glad the sun came out. I, I was worried that it was cloudy this morning. And it's you know it's early in the morning, it's only ten o'clock right now. I'm waiting for your transport, so decide to bring it out so this is the passenger door aka lisa's cubby <laughs> and of course it has memory seats for the passenger seats the first time in history a corvette has memory seat on the passenger seat and speaking of the seat they have the same functions and uh, features that the driver's seat has for the lumbar support goes and all of that and you can see how beautiful this carbon fiber looks and also attention to details look at that even the little buttons have a Corvette logo, and that's not a sticker or anything, it's just printed right there. Look at that, looks amazing. A lot of Corvette logos, you can see another one here. I don't know if you can see now the silhouette of a Corvette logo on the speaker. Yep, now you can see it much better. It's kind of a ghost logo, it kind of disappeared. But man, this passenger seat is amazing, it's so comfortable, and you get so much visibility now because the hood is so small. It used to be such a, <laughs> a big thing there. Um, in here, I've uh, on the other side is your emergency release. That's in case your door doesn't open electronically, but you have to push this little button to get it out. So for, for some reason that doesn't work, just pull the handle and it will open up mechanically. I never heard that happening, but safety first, my friend. So now we're gonna look at the infamous window sticker. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> All right, Mike, this is why you ordered. Amazing spec. All right, so we have here a 23 Corvette Stingray Convertible 2LT. My favorite value is a 2LT. You get everything a 3LT has except for a few colors. And this is the name of the exterior color, silver frame metallic and a sky cool gray interior with a 6.2 direct injection, A-speak dual clutch transmission. We're mentioning that engine produced 495 horsepower uh, and 475 pound-feet of torque. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. It's the only car in the two second clock without a turbo and without a supercharge. Now for that, you would need a C51 package. So this would be more like a three second car. <laughs> Who's counting anyways? A base price for this car is 78.5. We have the GT2 bucket seats option, the carbon fiber interior option. We have the wheels for 14.95. We have the carbon flash nasals on the top, that's 12.95. And then we have the performance exhaust. That's one of my favorite features, I love it. And look at that, it's only 11.95. They charge more for aftermarket exhaust. And it doesn't work as pretty as this one, push of a button. Uh, you also have uh, the total options here for $7,180, 4.5 liters, 
for the total of 85 680 plus your destination charge of 80 excuse me 1395 for the total of 87,075 dollars now here's the market adjustment that everybody talks about we have one too it's 25,000 and the total of this car is hundred and twelve thousand dollars now he ordered this car from the factory waited for it uh, it actually happens fairly quick for him he got lucky but uh, most people have been waiting a year or more for this car he only waited like I don't know four or five months since maybe six months as I met him uh, we ordered a car in uh, let's see, we placed the order in August 15 and it's already here so I give you an idea how fast they're moving he did not pay uh, for mentioning he did not pay that much for it because when you order a car with us here it's ten thousand dollar over sticker they don't charge you the full retail for that and it is negotiable a lot of people get them back in the trade-ins and whatnot but as, as a result you get a magnificent car that it's worth every single penny and more than when you're paying that's the beauty of corvette you never pay too much for one and if you did you get it back when you sell it <laughs> that's no problem it's not it's not like a you're gonna lose a bunch of money when you buy it but uh, it's a car that holds its value the most right now it's, and you can see it if you don't believe me go look at the prices for used one <laughs> so that's it my friend i think i got everything covered this is my longest video ever i, see, I hope you get the like button and subscribe to my video i know it was long but i wanted my customers to understand most of the things here i, I, I wish i can show you more but it, i had to activate the onstar first to show you the rest of the stuff so thanks guys thanks for your business again <sighs> i'll be here trying to make it make it happen in this beautiful day waiting for your transport and of course i'll be waiting for more surprises we're gonna order corvettes more corvettes here pretty soon so thank you for your support thank you for your uh, viewership i should say <laughs> and don't forget to give a like bye bye god bless